important is your body's blood pressure? They only measure it every time you go to the doctor. So let's look at the blood pressure of your duct system called static pressure. You can learn a lot about a system by doing a simple static pressure map. And I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to need a digital manometer that measures in inches of water column, along with a pressure hose and a static pressure probe. Static pressure is the pressure that pushes in all directions anytime the fan comes on, like blowing up a balloon. Static pressure is more greedy than velocity pressure, which is the other pressure of the air moving down the ducts, like blowing through a straw. Adding these two together gives you total pressure. And the problem is that your fan is only capable of producing so much total pressure. So if we allow static pressure to eat all of the available pressure, then there is no pressure left over to actually move the air to the rooms. This is often caused because ducts are too small or are blocked. We need to measure right before the air handler, which is the heart of every system, and then again right after it. This is where the pressures of the fan are highest, which is why it's so important to have an airtight cover on your filter slot. The total external static pressure is both of these numbers added together. Ignore the negative here. This is a pass-fail test, black or white because the equipment label always says exactly what the maximum is allowed to be. Probably 90% of the systems I've tested have failed this test. If it fails, we can track down the cause of the problem by moving out systematically with our probes and creating a static pressure map. Then everything becomes clear and fixes to the ductwork are straightforward.